Avengers, the 2012 blockbuster comic book superhero movie film. I absolutely love this film. I can never get enough Avengers. So, to start off this review, I will be saying the plot. So, let's begin. When Thor's evil brother Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, gains access to the limited power of the energy cube called the Tesseract, Nick Fury, played by Sam L. Jackson, director of S.H.I.E.L.D., inmates a superhero recruitment effort to defeat the preceded threat to Earth. Joining Fury's dream team are Iron Man, played by Armor Downey Jr., Captain America, played by Chris Evans, The Hulk, played by Mark Gruffalo, Thor, played by Chris Hemsworth, The Black Whale, played by Scar Scarlett Johansson, and Hawkeye, played by Journey Rhythm. This was released in theaters on May 4th, 2012 in the United States. It was directed by Josh Sweeting, and the budget for this movie was $220 million. That is insane. After five movies that built up, four of Marvel superheroes finally assemble in this mega blockbuster extravaganza. This movie is simply awesome and kicks butt in every aspect from the story, characters, acting, humor, and visual effects driven spectacle. The final battle between the Avengers and Loki is just amazing and spectacular. This movie is definitely a summer blockbuster action movie at its very best. Every member of the Avengers from Iron Man to even Hawkeye get their times to shine and both the action sequences and character development. However, the true heart of the film is in the joys of seeing larger-than-life figures interacting with each other. The film focuses on each of the superheroes along with members of S.H.I.E.L.D. learning to work together in order to take down a common enemy. And these scenes are just as compelling as the action sequences thanks to Josh Sweden's signature witty dialogue and total respect for each individual character. Each member of the cast brings their A-game to their respective roles. One cast member that deserves a special mention is Mark Ruffalo, who proves to be a great Bruce Banner. His interpretation of Banner is different from Edward Norton, but just as compelling. Another thing that deserves mention is how Whedon seamlessly nails the look of a comic book without looking cheesy or overstyled, which is probably the first time I saw that done successfully in a comic book superhero movie. There are so many things that could have went wrong with this superhero all-star concept, and Sweden put it off with such slickness that it makes it look easy. Not only is the Avengers incredibly smart and fun, but it also manages to not be only the best Marvel movie, but one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Then, trailers started popping up, and everybody went insane, including me. The trailers! They look so awesome! And because the trailers are so awesome, I got so hyped to go see this movie in theaters! And I thought it was going to be like the best movie ever. And actually, it was. And I was right. And it's because of these awesome trailers that Marvel makes, the Avengers have grossed over $1.5 billion worldwide and became the third highest grossing film during its theatrical run, as well as the first Marvel production to generate $1 billion in ticket sales. That is ridiculous. This is exactly how... Marvel is so rich and gets so much money. I bet the people who work with Marvel are all billionaires. I bet every single person that has something to do with Marvel is a billionaire. At least a millionaire because Marvel just makes a ton of money. So, what would I give the Avengers, you, you guys are asking? Well, I would give this... A whopping 10 out of 10 for its excellence and outstanding cast and all the action-packed stuff in the characters. It's just awesome. I give this a 10 out of 10. So, that is my review for the 2012 Avengers movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Leave a comment in the section below if there is any more movies that you would want me to review. And subscribe and smash that like button. Bye. See you on the next movie review.